So welcome back to Technique Matters. Um, today we're going to talk about one of the most common mistakes about uh, the low bar squat, which is people don't feel confident leaning into it. And if you don't lean into your low bar squats, then you won't be able to get all of the benefits of squatting low bar, okay? So today we're going to show you how that can be efficiently achieved as well as um, simply achieved, right? A lot of people try to overcomplicate with sit back, knees forward, all of that kind of fancy stuff that just confuses them from executing the lift right. I have Clinton over here that will kind of help me to demonstrate the cue that we're going to give you to kind of solve this problem. So the cue that we're going to give you is very, very simple, right? Regardless of what squat you do, high bar or low bar or front squat or zercher squat, any squat you do, goblet squat, the most important concept that you need to understand with the squat and to be good at squatting is that you need to keep your center of mass over your midfoot, right? Okay, so how do we tell where your center of mass is? It's pretty simple, right? So if you look at someone like Clinton, his center of mass is... Actually, for most people, the center of mass is usually at the sternum, right? So this area, the chest, right? So Clinton, if you just kind of turn to the side, and if you just pro like chest up and project your sternum forward, you can see how his, his sternum is now over the front, so his weight is on the front um, of his... It's probably on his toes. And then if you just round your back and just kind of push your sternum back in space, you can see that there's a slight shift um, to his heels, right? So this is the kind of concept that we want to kind of express to you guys um, in a squat. So going into the low bar squat, uh, we want to keep that same kind of principle of sternum over midfoot. So Clinton, you're just going to set up um, the way that he you know, feels comfortable, right? And obviously this is lightweight for him. So it will, uh, he, he'll be able to manage this kind of weight very well. But um, what you can see is, okay, so the most common mistake that people do when they squat low bar is they try to high bar their low bar squat, right? And this doesn't really make sense because if you try to high bar your low bar, you don't get all of the benefits simply because a low bar squat has a hinge component to it, right? So cleaner, you're just going to do your normal low bar, low bar squat. So... He's just going to try to drop his sternum straight into his midfoot, right? So you can see that he has a, a little bit of an angle to his torso and then can you kind of stand up, right, and finish the lift. So even when he's finished, he's not trying to get his chest up. Um, he, you see, when he, straight away when he gets his chest up, the weight kind of shifts to his heels, right? Um, and then if he's overly flexed, right, then um, again, same thing, weight goes to the heels and then obviously his, his brace is not strong, right? So he might be able to do it at 40, but then he won't be able to do it when it's a lot heavier. So we're just going to show you the two mistakes, right? The first one, which is staying too upright um, and what, what some of the issues that it causes and then trying to high bar squat the low bar, which is just kind of thinking about not hinging or not leaning enough, okay? So the first issue here is um, Clinton is going to try to set up, Clinton is going to set up in his low bar squat position and then he's going to just, um, instead of leaning and kind of allowing his hips to hinge, right, he is going to simply just drive his knees forward, right? So this thing is more applicable to people who wear heels, right? They think, I need to chase ankle dorsiflexion. And look, he's just going to extend his spine. He's just going to arch his back. His brace is going to feel like shit. His hips are going to feel like shit. Um, he won't even hit depth. And then he will message uh, Clinton, Adam, or myself on Technique Matters about why their bracing sucks and their squat sucks. So you can wreck it back first. Yeah, so, so this is one of the big cues. Allow yourself to lean so that you can kind of just drop your sternum into your midfoot, right? Okay, so the next, the next error that we have here is basically, um, you know, uh, staying too upright, which will kind of force the same problem as well, right? So Clinton, you're just going to literally um, stand super tall, right? Um, yeah. And then you're just going to try to, uh, you know, do, just squat, right? So again, same thing, the weight. So he's not going to, he's definitely going to hit that. He's going to hyperextend, right? He's just, uh, he's going to have to put heels on and find all the kind of funny things to do it as well as, you know, it's just not a very efficient position to be in. All right. So, so these are kind of the two main errors that we see. Um, driving the knee super far forward, right, which will keep you um, super upright and, you know, not sitting back enough, not leaning enough, right. So all of these things can be fixed by, you know, having a slight torso lean, understanding um, how to position your sternum over your midfoot, okay. And one of the drills that I really like for this is 
Uh, so Clinton is going to demonstrate is very simply he's just going to stand with a bar on his back right and he's just going to rock back and forth right so uh, what he's going to do is he's going to shift his weight to his forefoot and then he's going to shift his weight to his heels and then he's just going to try to oscillate between the two positions so if you just rock back and forth until you find so too far forward on the um, toes and then too far back on the heels so he's just going to rock back and forth until he finds a very nice midfoot position and then he knows, okay, that is my position, that is my midfoot, I'm just going to drop, drop straight down and stand back up. And yeah, and that's it. We come to the end of today's video, I hope the drill and the cue helps you. So just to recap, the cue is to drop the sternum to the midfoot, the drill is to rock back and forth until you find that really nice middle position between the forefoot and the heels. Alright, so if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and then um, you know, let us know down in the comments below if you've got any further questions.